It's a fact. Over 1,700 new millionaires are made in the U.S. every single day and over 4,000 all over the world. So think of this for a second and imagine you being able to achieve this and um, being able to, you know, do anything you like in the world. Uh, take care of your family, being able to, you know, buy your dream house, um, all these things, right? So I'm here to tell you that you can actually achieve this and you can do it by becoming an online entrepreneur and the internet provides an economy that is huge. It's about a $3 trillion economy and it's projected to actually be bigger. And um, if you want to learn how to actually learn this the right way, uh, what I think is the best thing you can do for anyone, and this goes to anyone that wants to learn anything, is to actually copy someone that is extremely successful uh, in doing this. Uh, instead of signing in for a course or anything where you're not really sure what's going to be happening or who is making the course. So the best thing you can do is get a, a mentor and have like a one-to-one -one coaching. So go to epiclifehq.com and find out. Uh, and this is what I'm actually doing it right now. This is what I'm doing. So I want to share this uh, experience with you. And I'm making these videos to share uh, some of my new things that I've been learning, you know, uh, by doing this. And what's going to happen is that you're going to have an online business that um, you're going to register it. There's a whole process that go into this. So, um, and, and the whole approach to which, which I love about uh, Antra, which is a community that I'm part of, uh, joined about uh, seven months ago, is that it's not only going to teach you... Um, all the technical skills and how you can achieve this uh, but also it's going to make you a better person in the sense of uh, it's going to inspire you to start working out so this is also what I've started doing myself I do like some home workouts uh, every day and also uh, on your personal relationships you're going to uh, cut off all your bad friendships and this is very necessary for your for your monetary success you know so it's not just about uh making the money but i'm here to tell you you can actually do this guys um I, i'm starting as an affiliate marketer and the affiliate marketing people that dial it in and they learn how to use this it's the potential is humongous there's uh nothing um you won't be able to achieve this uh being an employee even if it's a really good company you're always going to be subject to some sort of like salary or something like that and um, but with affiliate market what happens is that you are going to once you learn how to do it well in one niche they can you can just keep expanding it and um, that's the power of the internet so it's gonna require some work I'm not saying it's gonna be easy no you gotta hustle uh, but uh, you can do it anyone can do it you don't need any skills and you want to actually learn from uh, someone that is doing it right now as we speak because uh, all these things that on the internet they're always evolving so uh, one mistake that people make a lot is that they'll sign in for a course where you don't really know who made it and it's not updated so uh, this is not where you're getting here this you're getting here like a real in real time um, mentoring so let's talk about uh, pixels guys because uh, what are pixels and um, it's uh, it's a word that I've always struggled with and I just started to actually understand what this is and it's a long story you know like I've been going through it would be almost impossible for me to explain all the single things but we're, I'm gonna give you guys an idea on what a pixel is and this is gonna be different for everyone but I'm sharing just my experience as I just started actually trying to implement this in my uh, my sales funnels and all this uh, really cool stuff right more specifically uh, I'm gonna be talking about Bing ads and how they relate so the whole thing about uh, pixels is that it's gonna be a code that um, is you're gonna be able to track 
who's clicking on your offer and then by doing that let's say you put in an ad so let me just give you an example real fast here I'm going to go to this ad here that I created okay so this is my my landing page right so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna put this email here and then once let's say someone looks at my ad right and we're gonna get into this a little bit uh, we're gonna go to I did this for Bing okay so anyone that searches for certain keywords like how to make money online for example they're gonna land in in this page and they're gonna they're gonna if they put in their email maybe some people just look at it and then they don't sign in right but some people actually they end up uh, putting their name and, and their email so you're going to once they start once they hit start right there submitting uh, it's going to bring them to this page here and then once that that means like I already collected an email from this person I'm uh, now I'm going to be able to send them a campaign and uh, you know even if they don't buy the offer right there I'm still going to be able to to send them the offer and create an email campaign so that they potentially will buy the offer this is how affiliate marketing works guys it's uh sometimes you're not going to make the sales on the first day but it's all about you know you keep sending them emails and eventually because they're they opted in already to start right so they are interested in these type of offers um so uh this is kind of like how it works and then once they click here boom they're going to go to the offer right which is in, in this case I'm a, it's an entra a video sale right here right so so this is what happens once they click there then if I go to my Bing account here let's just show you a little bit so I'm going to now because because they 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 clicked in that um, now I collected the email so I'm gonna be able to track down how many people are actually opting in um from bank right because you can you know there's different ways that you can be for example i i can have that offer in my youtube channel or i can have it in facebook or i can have it in my blog right so it's different different things right so that the whole thing about the pixel is that i'm going to be able to track down how many people not only they're just watching the my ad but actually who's actually clicking in and um so that's that's the whole thing here so we're going to go um, how you how you get this code here this is what we call that UET tag on Bing and you go to tools and then if you go here you go to UET tag okay so there's a whole process that you you go and create a tag right so you go and click here I'm just gonna close this for a second because I actually just created this one so I'm um, just sharing this with you guys but uh so I created this one okay you create it you name it I named it entre conversions right here and uh, that's how uh, you're gonna create it right so once you create it then you can view the tag here and this is this is the code this is how it looks right so what you're gonna be doing um, so give you an idea on how this works guys but this is pretty much what that what I understand of being a pixel right like it's you you can do this for Facebook or anything so you see this code here you're gonna copy that okay and then you know uh, it depends what um, like where are you making your landing pages right so that's why I all I always like to um, I tell I tell everyone to you want to make sure you have a good platform where you're building your landing pages and where you can actually add this code because there's certain platforms that you cannot do this right like you can build the landing pages but they don't have this uh, this this spot where you can actually add this code so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna show you real fast um, so what you want to do let's say uh, I'm gonna go to my funnels here let me show you a funnel um, let's go to exits so this is the actual one that I just show you this is the offer here and so if we have two pages here I have for this one I have my capture page which is uh, I named it Bing home opportunities and this is the one right it's the one that's that um, that I just showed you guys so that's the first step on the funnel and I'm using click funnels by the way so 
uh, you, you're, this is a great platform, I highly recommend it. And then my second page, so once they, they put in their email and name, they go to the thank you page, so this is the second step. And once you're there, that's the one, oh, the second one that I showed you guys, but I'm just showing you here from my ClickFunnels. Um, so once you have that, right, you wanna add this code that we were talking about, right? Um, where did it go? Okay, view the tag again. This code right here, right? So you copy that, and then you wanna put it actually on on all the steps of your funnel. So let's go to the first step again. Go to, go to being home opportunities. That's how we named it, right? You can always name in whatever makes sense to you. And um, let's go to let's go to edit page under the first step here. And so you're gonna go to settings here, and then there's gonna be this thing that says tracking code. Click on that, and you paste it right here. So I already pasted it. Okay, so it looks like this. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's gonna be looking like that. It's a pretty long, like you know, it's pretty much the same, same this here. But you just paste it there, and then all you do is like you click on the outside, and just hit save. All right. So you do that, right? And then you go back. Let's exit here. Now I'm gonna to go to my thank you page. Then once you go to your thank you page, um, you're gonna do the same exact thing. Go to edit, and we are going to go to settings again. Tracking code, and um, that's the code. You paste it right there, right? So I, I already did that. You click on the outside, you always want to click on the outside and that it sets the action and then you save. And um, that's usually how it goes guys. So every every time uh, this is now, now Bing, it knows, uh, let's see here. So now Bing knows what uh, what's going on every time you're going to be tracking. So so the, the whole point of doing this guys is that there's, uh, there's this term called CPA. It's called cost per acquisition. So what, what we're trying to find here is like, okay, let, let's start by saying this. Every time someone clicks on your ad, um, they, 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 they landed in your ad because they typed in a certain word on the internet, right? Someone typed in how to make money online and then they, they landed on that page or maybe someone else typed in earn money from home, right? So this is what when you when you create an ad in uh, in Bing, this is what we call the keywords, and then these keywords, um, they 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 pretty much that's how you target the people, right? So you you want to when you make an ad, you want to think of okay, what what are they typing in? You want to be that person on the other side and understand that's how they're gonna land in your page. So you want to make sure you do some research, whatever your ad is. It could be many offers, right? There's no limits on, on this world, right? Of affiliate marketing. That's why I love it. And you want to put in yourself in their shoes and ask yourself, what are they typing in when they're trying to find a certain solution to their problem, right? So, uh, you know, just to show you a couple of ideas here, I have this one's here, best online business, uh, business home, home opportunities. And I did a little bit of a research here for, for this one. Um, let me see if I have, uh, there, there is a keyword planner right here, right? So if you want to get some ideas, you would go here and find, um, find words. So for example, let's say, let's say make money online. get suggestions, see what this does. And it's giving you all of these words here, right? So say we make money online, easy way to make money online, right? So that's kind of like the first thing, you can get some suggestions by that. But keep, like, now let's check this out, guys. Um, so this is what we call the bid, 
So when we start, when, when you start setting, uh, you're gonna add, you're gonna start with a bit because it's what happens is like every time someone clicks on that specific word, you're gonna be paying, okay? And and some, for example, this one, every time they click on, let's check out the first one. The first one says, "We make money online." Um, ninety nine cents. So that's kind of expensive, guys. Uh, I mean, I know we're talking about cents, but when every Think of it as every time someone clicks in. So you want to, first of all, you want to keep your bid to 50 cents, okay? Uh, if you call Bing or you try to learn in other sources, they're going to tell you, oh, every time, keep in mind, every time you talk to a Bing representative, they, they're they trying to make you pay more. They're trying to make money, right? So don't listen to them. Uh, you know, that's why you, you want to join the community, Entra, that I'm part of where you we're going to learn from people that know what they're talking about, right? And uh, so you want to make this like 50 cents because um, then you're going to you're going to do a test and you're going to run the campaign for a few weeks and you're going to see how they perform. So just keep in mind, that's what it is. The bid, you want to set it up at 50 cents. That means like you're not spending more money than than 50 cents. But what you can do after is like, um, you know, there there if there's a word, for example, that, you know, it's doing OK, it's giving you good results. And they happen to be a little bit over 50. Let's say one is like 58 cents. So you can modify for that one word and make it 58 cents because it's giving you good results, right? Um, you know, because these prices kind of go up and down, right? So this is kind of like how it works. Right? So, um, and then also talking about the, the CPA, you want to make sure like you also want to keep track on how, how, what is your CPA cost? That means there's going to be a number that, um, let me show you here. I'm going to go back to my campaigns here. This is the whole thing why I install this code is that, let's say I just installed it. So I'm not going to have any numbers here. But if you go here on this, um, this, this, uh, every, when you go to the keywords, you're going to go scroll down to the right. So it shows you all this chart here at broad. Uh, that's a type of word. These are all broad type of words, but you want to make sure they're all broad. Okay. There's a one is called phrase and there's another one that is called exact match. So you want to start with the broad. Okay. You want to make sure this is set up for the broad. Um, enhanced CPC. Um, so you see, if you see here, I have them all set up for 50 cents on my bid. Let's say this one, I just started running this one. This one's had five clicks so far because I just literally started running this ad a few minutes ago. So best online business, five clicks. Actually, never mind, guys. This is the total clicks here. So here it is. So home-based business, one click. Home-based business opportunity, one click. Okay. Uh, online business opportunities, two clicks, and then opportunities business, three clicks, okay? Uh, impressions. So how many people have actually seen uh, this word, for example, online business? It's only been 20 people saw the ad, but no one clicked on it, right? Uh, so it's just kind of how it works. Uh, click through rate, I don't really have any, any um, information on this one here, but this one I do. Whoop, sorry guys, my alarm uh, calling right now. I gotta call my mechanic. Um, gotta have a little issue with my car going on. It's like 9 a.m. now, so I'm gonna call him when so I'm done with the video. But anyways, um, so this is kind of like how it works. There's all these things here, you know, we're gonna get into this. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys is like, now that I added that tag, I have this, this here called CPA. Once it start performing, it's gonna tell me how much am I spending per lead? So how much is that person that, that is coming to my email list, how much is that costing me, right? You don't want that to be more than $2. If it's more than $2, get like cancel that word, it's not working out, make sure, you know, so that's that's the whole thing. We're doing like an experiment with this, okay? So just, uh, just wanna give you an overview on how UET tags and pixels work with Bing in connection to ClickFunnels and, um, Again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to make some videos for you, more and more targeted topics in uh, affiliate marketing. And have an awesome day. Take care.
Thank you.